Good afternoon. First of all, I wish Rajana Sansad and Academy of Literature and its founder members my heartiest congratulations for giving 50 golden years of architectural education and my best wishes for the future endeavors also. Rajana Sansad Academy of Architecture is always in the forefront of innovative teaching methods which has encouraged many young students to wander in the field of perception, imagination, producing eminent and celebrity architects. Even the general categories of students have very high standards of working and have become the backbone for many architectural firms in India and abroad. I am really honored to have been called upon today to talk and share my some of my work. Actually, uh, Professor Ambedkar called me to present some of our interior uh, jobs which we have done. But unfortunately, as we have not uh, really documented the interior projects, I take this opportunity to show my one of my architectural projects, which is going on at the moment. And uh, maybe few more projects uh, which are in the uh, process of construction. First of all, Panjim, Goa. So, uh, we can call this project as a, not only a resort project, but also it has got a uh, quite a good urban background, being it's a, in the vicinity of the capital city of Panjim. Goa is, uh, first of all, is the capital city of Panjim, then it's an international tourism destination. Goa has agricultural industries and special industrial zone, port activities, education, and there is a definite rise of uh, business traffic. Now, this particular presentation was done maybe two and a half, three years back when the economy was very strong. And so we could say that rise in business traffic. But I hope it will continue to be like that. This particular hotel, we had a competition because uh, this hotel is surrounded by all these hotels which are well known to you, uh, right from four star to five star. And there is a huge competition which was facing for this project. As this slide shows the Goa state, and you can see the square marked as a Panjim as the capital. And uh, on the south of Panjim is the Jowari River, which meets the Arabian Ocean. Is this the point? This is a, a Google image uh, of the site where the Juari River widens up and meets the Arabian Sea. It's called estuary. At the mouth of the river is widened up, meeting up the Arabian Sea. So we have a very panoramic view from the site as, it's, as the river opens up in the sea. On the right side, you can see the the beach on the river. The, this river is not only a sweet water, but it is, uh, it is as good as the backwater of the sea. So uh, there are natural uh, formation of the beaches, sand and a uh, very good existing plantation on site. The initial proposal was for the 180 rooms, uh, but as, uh, as the designing started, uh, it reached to the 325 rooms along with uh, presidential villas. So that's the uh, site. Uh, uh, Tropical survey and showing the all the existing trees, the beach and the sea. So it's now well appointed 324 rooms with, uh, uh, and also we have presidential villas, three numbers of uh, presidential villas. The concept. Basically, I just wanted to uh, show the concept for the hotel. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to show you the, all the drawings of the hotel. Uh, the concept actually revolves around a very fictitious story. 
And the, the, there has to be uh, some story to start the work. So as such, we had worked out on one fictitious story of this gentleman, a Portuguese gentleman who came to Goa in a 17th century. Uh, he was hailing from Europe, having a background of the Portuguese um, Portuguese background. And as you know, in 17th century, a lot of Portuguese came to India and they settled in India. This particular gentleman in my story also settled in Panjim. He was having his business in silk and horses and spices exports uh, and connectivity to the uh, uh, Far East countries. And this particular gentleman on his plantation along the sea, he erected his villa, which you see it in the background, his villa. And all these Portuguese businessmen, when they came to India in the 17th century, they wanted to establish themselves as a businessman, but they, it was a political uh, and uh, a political motive also. So they wanted to establish their identity in forms of they rule the whole area. They used to create the architecture which was very simple, but uh, they used to have very high pitch roof going into the sky. You can see the roof, uh, very high pitch roofs over here. So that's the side. So this kind of architecture prevailed in the 17th century. They created very simple forms of architecture, more of a verticality rising up in the sky with high pitch roofs, grand spaces, extravagant spaces. And uh, we studied a uh, bit of uh, what was happening on this uh, particular uh, period of the time. And we could find out that basically the proportions of architecture and the boldness and the um, verticality which they were working on along the uh, banks of the rivers and the seas on those times. And then there were uh, growth in their architecture, which uh, uh, main uh, kind of a main uh, uh, areas of the house were very high and the other areas which spread out were kept quite low to create a very good uh, harmony and a good skyline kind of a structure they used to have attics and high pitch roofs which are uh, the area below the roof was never used it was a quite a dominant uh, feature in the architecture then one of such example is uh, still existing in goa most of the structures of the 17th century are not there in goa now what we see is more of a indo uh, Indo-Portuguese architecture, uh, more, more influence of Hindu architecture on Portuguese style. But this is one of the example in Goa which is still existing, uh, having the similar kind of uh, architecture which was there then in uh, 17th century. It's one of its examples which we uh, went there and studied uh, as far as the details were concerned. So this particular gentleman is keeping in mind what he did on the site. Then my fictitious story starts now. Actually, when he came to Goa, when he was having his business in Panjim, probably uh, his plantation, which was along the Juwari River, he built his first. Uh, do you have pointers? Here, here. He built his first uh, palatial house over here, and then eventually, in his period of time, he also created a place of worship. He created a place of worship, which is not exactly a church, but uh, very simple from outside, very integrate from inside, and uh, it has uh, values of just uh, kind of a architecture, but more of a, uh, you can say, dormitories and um, uh, place of uh, residence for the people from the um, uh, religious, uh, religious people, I would say. Uh, after the next generation came up, when uh, the next generation uh, came up, they were also not far behind. They added a structure to the main uh, main palace which was built by this Portuguese gentleman. Uh, the next generation added a structure uh, to that. And the architectural style, because of the period, the architectural style got